officially clamped down. Huh. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my. A bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. Yes, and not just humans. All organic life will be affected. Low-frequency vibrations are not uncommon in this species. The vibrations help disperse nutrients throughout the tree. However, normally, the vibrations are imperceptible. If the vibrations continue to increase in frequency and strength, prolonged exposure could lead to harmful and potentially deadly side effects. It's imperative we find a way to correct this. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. Not necessarily, but if you're offering your services, you've certainly proven to be reliable help in the past. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Oh, thank you. At last I knew he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process? Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Trees. Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No, no way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, He's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Kelton screwed me over good. Probably ruined my chances for advancing in Mast. I'm not going to forgive that, ever. Oh yeah? You think so? Wow, thanks for that. I'll really give it some thought. Ugh. <sighs> He really won't let this go, will he? Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Well? Then I guess we don't have anything else to discuss, and Kelton can just forget about getting his hands on the data. See you around. Changed your mind, did you? Willing to... Wait, really? Wow. 
I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years, totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file, but it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. <laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table. If that's true, seems like a good reason to hold on to it until I've got what I need. From where I'm standing, kinda seems like it is. Advancing my career is the right thing to do, so that's what I'm focused on. Enough. The deal is the deal. You get Kelton's stupid data when I know that the files have been wiped from the chief engineer's terminal. Just get in, access her terminal, delete the files, and get out. Really simple. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just, uh, pretty much everything in my personnel file. Most of it is fine, of course. I'm good at what I do. I... Ugh, you've definitely been... Between you and me? As... I'm just kidding, of course. I work really, really hard at my job. These days, I just help out wherever I can. Waiting for a good opportunity. That's right.
moving. Dad is right here. When you're done with your part. You have some good news for me? Oh, boo-hoo. We both get what we want. I took a peek on the network. Saw that things have updated. Great job. You came through for me, so now I'll do the same for you. Hand it over to him, stuff it down his throat. too late to avoid disaster. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. Don't, don't say another word. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. <laughs> 